When do you think it started, folks? Washington's 106.7 WJFK. Here starts Ron and Fez. Okay, good. You're in for that, right? Ron and Fez. Well, uh, tonight was another night um, without Billy. Billy Staples calls in sick again, second time this week. I said last Thursday and Friday on this show, Billy Staples is going to be drinking again over the weekend. Monday, he doesn't show up. And now, tonight, Thursday, he doesn't show up. And look like crap the days he was here. You think he's drinking again? I think he's drinking again. Uh, is that it for him, then? Are we letting him go, or we leave it up to Cameron? I guess this will be Ca- uh, Cameron's first big call. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to... What do I do? <laughs> Billy? Yes? Is this the fake uh, sick? No, this is the just woke up call from Rory. So I'm drinking again, huh? We were having this age-old debate. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Billy. When I just called you, you were like, hello? Like, everything was fine. Uh, now you're doing the voice. He's putting on a fake voice for yeah. us? He just, it was that totally was a normal phone, voice. Roar. The cell phone's not going to make you sound tired. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I didn't. If I sounded perkier than uh, whatever. What, do I have to bring a doctor's note? I would like to see one. Uh, well, I didn't see a doctor. Yeah, of course not. Because they're called bartenders in your world. <laughs> they are not. I, my doctor, my bartender is not my doctor. What is wrong with you today? Now what's wrong? It's the same thing. I have a low-grade fever. I got chills. <laughs> A headache. You know someone is faking when they give you that specific of information. It's someone trying to cover all their bases. A low-grade fever means do not believe the thermometer. <laughs> the thermometer is a swizzle stick. Guys, I could have told you I had a javelin sticking out of my chest, and you probably wouldn't believe me. No, because I think it would be soaked in whiskey. <laughs> See, so, you know, it, I mean... So it doesn't matter. This is our fault. Yes, I get it's our fault, and this is all falling into my thing from last week, where Billy will say, you know what, no one believes I'm not drinking anyway. I might as well just drink. It's, if I was drinking, would I be home? <laughs> yes, you can't drink at home. <laughs> You're so drunk right now, it's insane. It, 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 it doesn't make any sense. What? I wouldn't be home. You what? know, I'd be, I'd be out. No, you wouldn't because you knew that eventually we would call you and check up on you. Uh, you think I thought it through that much? Yes, yes, low-grade fever. I think you have thought through every little symptom. Um, I, I'm, I'm... <clears throat> what? What? So, uh, you won't be in tomorrow? You're going to the doctor? Um, I'm going to wait and see how I feel. Yeah. When I get up tomorrow. I will say this. You sound great. Well, uh, thank you, Ron. I appreciate that. <laughs> what do you think you have? Uh, uh, I'm afraid to say because I know it we be blown out of proportion. Go ahead and say it. All mm-hmm. right. I, I got all the symptoms of SARS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what you have? Sartinis. <laughs> no. I was, you have a sartini. I was around a lot of Chinese people on the weekend. and when? Japanese restaurant twice. Oh, don't you even drag too cute into this. You know what? There is not one case of SARS in the United States. Why would you be first? Somebody has to be. So you are literally staying home because of SARS? No, I'm just telling you the symptoms I have. They say, you know, I have a cough, I have the low-grade fever. You're and reading the, the back of the NyQuil box. <laughs> So. He's living in the back of the <laughs> no, it has not, no, I don't take NyQuil. It has alcohol. Now, Roy said when you called earlier this afternoon to say you weren't coming in that you, you said your, your mom's sick, too? Mm-hmm. What yeah. does she have? Yeah, she Bourbon. definitely got something for my... Her right. symptoms is there's a 45-year-old son living too. in our house. The, uh, and the doctor says it has to be removed. <laughs> Matter of fact, she just got home. She got home from work. Oh, she went to work. <laughs> She's not. She doesn't have it as bad as I do. Yeah, but you know what? She handles food. No, 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 no not tonight. What was she doing tonight? I think beer. Oh, she's slinging beer. So that's not a food. Yeah, that's not something someone consumes. That's on the outside. Yeah, the beer she's serving is to her son in the basement. No, no, no. <laughs> Need another tray, hun? <laughs> One has nothing to do with the other. 
Angie only had a sniffle. She doesn't have the full-blown symptoms like I do. The full-blown SARS. She just has... Yeah, well, you know, it's just it's just a little scary when you think about the symptoms and the way I feel, and this thing ain't going away, and it's got like a 7 to 10 inc incubation day period. It's called it's a, a cold. It's a 7 and 7 incubation period. It's, right, this, this, this feels... I've had colds before. This feels much different. I can't... The, the, the chills with the shake and the... Well, then you better not come in tomorrow with the The dry cough. So I, I, I actually asked my mother to go pick me up some of those masks. Well, what you ought to do is what? get us. What? Yeah. Why would you put a mask on now if you already have it? No, so I can come to work. No, we don't want you in here tomorrow, Billy. No, not staggering around this drunk. Dr drunk and SARS are two different things. Yeah, I don't, I don't wear a mask when I'm drinking. Makes it a lot. <laughs> makes it hard. I don't do that. All right, hold on for one second, uh, Fezzi. Uh, this going out to request for Billy Staples, a young man with SARS. It's called SARS. <laughs> off his drinking as being <laughs> severe acute respiratory syndrome. Now, you know what? He should be reported if he thinks he has SARS. Yeah. If, if, if you are that convinced you have SARS, you need to let the health department know. Well, I pretty much quarantined myself. I haven't gone out all day. Should, we should call the health department for him. And let him let them know that there's a possible SARS case. Yeah. No, it's like even the slightest activity, I lose my... Um, it gets short of breath and stuff, so... That might be just from the extra weight. Mm. Uh, so that I can handle. I carried that before. So just the, the every little thing wears you out? Yeah. Just taking the bottle caps off, everything? No. They, they do that for you if I was drinking. You understand you're allowed to bring liquor into your home. You know how it works, right? Oh. You don't have to go to a bar? No. A SARS right, bar? Yeah. No, but, uh, you know, I didn't. What all I've been doing is taking that, that, that stuff that was recalled that we used to take, because that's all I have in the house. That, that medicine we used to take. That cold medicine, the tablets? Yeah. And then they had the big recall saying, don't take that, it could give you a stroke? Yeah. So you're taking that? Yeah, that's all I had in the house. Is it working? I don't know. I don't know if, it's, uh, if it works with that disease. No, I mean, have you had your stroke yet? No, not yet. Oh, damn. Not yet. No, that that hasn't happened, but so I figured that's better than nothing. So you're at home, you think you have SARS, and you're taking outdated recalled medicine. Yep. And you should get paid for this. Well, well, not, not plain plain medicine, plain aspirin and stuff ain't gonna work, you know. And this is the, that's like the best stuff. Plus, my other medications have helped. Help with the resting and stuff. So. And you don't even feel, you know, you you think you should quarantine yourself, but you don't even feel you should go to a doctor. Well, I thought it'd be gone by now. Maybe you we know, get him a ventilator. I thought it was like Ronnie said. I thought it was just a cold. I thought it was just a cold. Oh, Ronnie, I'm sorry. Now you've been dragged into the diagnosis. I guess I misdiagnosed them. 
I it's, didn't see this one coming. It's diagnosis murder. You know, it, again, it just seemed like a normal everyday cold. It is one. That's why it seems like. <laughs> and then, but it just kept progressively getting worse. Yeah, have another hot buttered rum. It should help. I don't see how that would, uh, you know, affect the headache, you know, and the, the coughing. And that would definitely affect my sobriety. How does the fake voice help it? What? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's gone into his ears, Ronnie. Oh, wait a minute. The obligatory cough. All right, Billy. Did you guys hold up okay? You, you know, I'm glad you called to check up on me. I appreciate it. <laughs> All was, right. That was really nice of you. Don't, don't come in tomorrow unless you really feel well, okay? Promise. And, I mean, 100%. Okay. Yeah. And, and thank you for the, uh, the, the, the good will call. All right. Bye. Wise ass. What an effing wise ass. That's when he's drinking. He gets wise ass when he drinks. Because he gets into that I don't give an S attitude. It will not be up to us. If your little legs are cut out from underneath you. <laughs> you awful person. <laughs> he really is an awful, awful person. Cameron, I want you to write that down in whatever book you're keeping on everything. I know you're keeping notes now. Write down Billy's name and strike a line for it. Yeah, that is names in the book. If you're keeping a file, get lots of paper, Cameron. Yeah, no kidding. And get ready for calls from uh, women who, cl who, claim they, who claim they've been molested. Howard Stern, Don and Mike, Bill O'Reilly, Ron and Paz and the Washington Redskins, 106.7 WJFK.